Christine Yant Jones with Children's Ministry Magazine, and you're watching the childrensministry.com podcast today. And we have a very special thing that we want to demonstrate for you, which comes from Celebration Station, which is the children's companion to celebrate recovery. And uh, even if you're not a Celebrate Recovery Church, and if you're not, why aren't you? No, just kidding. But what a great program. I've learned so much about how great Celebrate Recovery is. But this is just a great resource for a year-long um, of lessons to help kids deal with the brokenness in their families that come from uh, hurts, hang-ups, and habits. But I want to share something with you. This is from uh, Leader Guide number three. There are four Leader Guides for the year, and it's week 39, and I'm going to do some art for you. So I'm just going to do it just exactly like you would do it with your children as you're setting up this wonderful time of prayer stations. Okay, you ready? <sighs> Let me take a breath. I'd like to tell you guys a story. It's about a young man who had cancer. <laughs> okay. And, and he drew this picture. And as he drew this picture, he thought, you know, this really represents my life. Right now, this is me. Okay, and by the way, oh, I'll tell you that later. I'll just keep going. And then in the middle of his life, he drew a black crack passing through it. Oh, I'm supposed to paint this whole thing red. Okay, so he drew his life, and then he, he said, you know, here he is dealing with cancer and feeling like his life is very broken. And so he drew this crack running through his life because his life felt broken and, and not complete. And I think you can imagine how he would feel that way. I mean, dealing with such a huge thing in his life. But then later, when he was better, he found hope. And when he found hope, he went back to that very same drawing and he drew this. Think about what that might mean. You know what he did? He drew the yellow cracks because he said, the bright light streaming out is God's light that can shine in. It shines into the broken places and then it shines out. And here's what he said, our hearts can grow strong at the broken places. So that's what I want you to think about. The grace and the love of Christ can shine through us in our broken places to create a sculpture of beauty from our lives. So that's what you would do. That's how you tell the story. You can do this with any medium. And I use, I use these, I don't know that I would use them again, but I use these squee, squeegee, what do you call them? Squeezy, squeezy paint things. You could use chalk on a chalkboard. You could use um, markers, anything. But the point is to help them see this visual rep representation of our lives and how God's light shines through the broken places, the cracks. And then it leads into the prayer station time. So um, anyway, we're going to give you the URL. If you don't already have this resource, you can use this with kids. You can use this illustration. And we'll give you the URL at the end of this podcast. But you've been watching the childrensministry.com podcast. And thanks for watching today.